Yes. Robin Scorpio was transferred safely to the Swiss clinic last night. Now, her mother has no idea. I told you, no one has any clue we're working together. You in? Hold on. Elizabeth. Uh, I didn't know you were here. Well, I'm, I'm not surprised, given what I just heard. Are you okay? You, you seem upset. Did I do something? No. No, but you were on the phone telling somebody that no one has any idea you're working together? It was a, a patient. <laughs> well, I figured so. But are you okay? I mean, you, you seem kind of stressed. Yeah. No, no, everything's fine. No, it's, it's just a, a special case. You know, this, this patient in particular is, a, is somewhat of a celebrity. Um, you know, if people were to, to know she were in my care, there would be a huge reaction. Oh. Wow. Well, I'm not meaning to pry, but I'm kind of surprised poor Charles actually has a celebrity. <laughs> no, I know, but this isn't the first place I've worked. Um, other patients or their families make recommendations because I'm known to be discreet. And I would never ask you to breach confidentiality, but you can tell me about Patrick, right? He's been very open with me about his detox. Uh, of course. Uh, Patrick's, uh, he's experiencing physical withdrawal. Um, you know, fortunately, he, he hadn't been using for long, so it's, it's, not, it's not too severe. Yeah, it's not the pills he's going to have a hard time giving up. It's Robin. I, his grief was a way of keeping her with him. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling pretty guilty where Patrick's concerned. Why? You know... Aren't doctors supposed to remain detached, not have any personal feelings for their patients? Uh, which is why I'm glad you're no longer my patient. Hmm. Me too. That still doesn't answer my question. Why do you feel guilty about Patrick? You're helping him. Am I? He admitted to having a problem. He's getting help. Yes, that's progress. Well, let's just think about why Patrick is taking the pills in the first place. Uh, Robin is... she's gone. And it's completely unfair for Patrick. You know, he, he misses her. He, he needs her. You know, sometimes... sometimes there are things, you know, that we have no control over. We have no choice. We just have to find other ways to cope. And that's exactly what Patrick is doing with your help. Elizabeth, you know, if there were ways I could change this thing, I would... Okay, you in. You in. Hey, it is not your fault Robin died. I completely understand this helpless feeling you have. I, I have it every time I hear Patrick's voice start to crack or Emma asks if she can go visit her mommy in heaven. It's tragic. But Patrick has to get his footing, and he will. Yeah, no, I, I just wish I, I could fix it. We all do. But Patrick's been a good friend to me, you know, and I know, I know he's the reason why you've agreed to go out with me again. I agreed to go out with you again because I happen to like you. Will you um, go to lunch with me? I know it's a short notice, but uh, I'm seeing Patrick this afternoon, and uh, it would be you know, nice to have some cheerful news for him. Sounds great. It's not like he twisted my arm or anything. Sometimes you don't see what's right in front of you. No. No, you don't. I've tried to reach out to Sam, but something always happens. Like what? Remember Dr. Keenan? Mr. Grinthos? Elizabeth uh, suggested we try this place for lunch. I hear the ribs are pretty good. After the baby died, I, I really didn't know what to do. I'm glad we could do this at the spur of the moment. Yeah, well, you said you wanted to try the ribs. They're the best here. What was that about? Mom, John was dealing with his own. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You're, you don't know what I'm talking about. She just introduced me to a psychiatrist who's been treating Kate for months. Was that for your benefit? No, I haven't, I haven't met Dr. Keenan. You know what I'm talking about. Is there something going on with you and Elizabeth? So when you say you... McBain and Sam, son of a bitch. <sighs> I know. I just, I, I had to get away and I went up to the bridge to think. And Elizabeth was there. 
I know how it sounds, but I was not the only one who was wrong. If you can even call it wrong. No, I, I'm not judging you. I'm, I'm just surprised. Surprised? Did you want, do you want to hear a surprise? And let's talk about what Jason did. Elizabeth, are you sure you're comfortable here? Yeah, why not? Well, you your friend. You and Elizabeth, I mean, that's, you know, a lot of history, a lot of pain. Yeah, I know. I guess you weren't thinking about that when you were kissing her. That's just juvenile. You kiss McBain, so then Jason kisses Elizabeth? The last thing I want is to hurt Elizabeth or Sam. They've, they've both been hurt enough. But here's the thing. No matter what's happened, Sam is still your wife. So Jason admits that he kisses another woman. No, Mom, it's not just another woman. Please, let's let's be clear on that. John and I, we were two people that were sharing a bad moment, but Jason and Elizabeth, they had a they had a baby together. And it doesn't matter that Jake is gone, they still share this connection. So look, um, you're gonna have to make some decisions in the quicker you make him the easier it's gonna be on everybody, right? I'm sorry, you and it's okay. No, you care about him, obviously. If things that have been different, you might have wound up together. But that's not the case. It's not about ending a marriage, Mom. It's about Jason's marriage is failing. That you want to help him, but you don't want to get in the way of him working things out with his wife. Now, that says a lot about your empathy and generosity. They're qualities that make me want to spend as, as much time with you as, as you'll allow. As you know, after Brenda left, the, the, the pain buried me, and I took it out on everybody. Don't let it get that far. If you think you can't fix things with Sam, call it quits now for everybody's sake. What stops you from patching things? I, I can't, I can't divorce Sam. Okay, what if she wants to divorce you? I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna fight, you know, I'm, like I don't wanna be the one who gets the lawyers involved and draws up the papers. Are you afraid that she'll think that you're punishing her for what happened with McBain? I don't wanna punish her. Right. I just, I just want, I just want this pain to stop. You can, you can love somebody and get to the point where your choices hurt them. Then you gotta figure out what's the least of the damage. If you leave, it's gonna hurt. If you stay, it's gonna hurt more. So you're gonna have to do what needs to be done. Yeah, Sam and I had a life together. I know. How, how do I just walk away? Seems like a lifetime since our first day. Yes, when I discovered your deep, dark secret. The harmonica. Oh, right. Yeah, the harmonica. What? Is there another deep, dark secret? Jason. Um, what else can you tell me about Joe Jr.? Why you change the subject? Well, if there's even... Even a chance that he's gonna come after your family, we need to be ready. Joe Jr.'s a coward, a liar, and I just want to give him room to make a mistake. I'm sure he's already got something planned. Something in place, a way to move against my kids. Dead. <laughs>